after the devil wrapped the gates of hell, rubbish the pastors. The next in line are the big givers. You want to give? You want to give to the gospel? You want to build a church by yourself? And then the gates of hell, they unleash powers to fight every giver. They fight your transactions. They fight your customers. They frustrate your helpers. These are the gates of hell. If we don't fight this department, I'm telling you, I could have got away and I'm telling you, we'll be like every other church you've seen that is closed. The gate of hell is intending to close the gates of the church. I wish I had a witness. You didn't say the gates of hell shall not prevail against, against the, the, the earth. No. Against you. You, child of God. Because you are givers, you are targeted. The Lord told me many years ago that there are saints who are targeted specifically by the enemy. And I said, Lord, who are they? He says, the givers. There's what is called the battle of a giver. Sometimes after you give, it, it now looks like Noe Ramari. So that it looks like the God of harvest does not exist. We are going to pray. We are going. The problem is not giving. The problem is the gates of hell. Who are the gates of hell? These are the spirits that tell business people not to tithe. Why? It's the gates of hell. Because the gates of hell want to make sure that the windows of heaven are not open to you. So that they can close your windows. It does not make sense for you not to obey the word of God. So you need to fight the power. That, 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 that makes you pay everything else minus your tithe. The gates of hell, watch this, they are responsible for what is called spiritual corruption. Do you know what, spiritual, do you know what corruption is? Huh? It's, it's converting funds intended for something to something else. So God blesses you. Are you listening? And within that blessing, there are resources that are supposed to advance the kingdom. But by spiritual corruption, you divert the funds and you use them for something else. So you need to fight that spirit. I, I, I mean, I, I, I tell men, my my brother rent. Who rent As rent church, rent Aoudi. It's the gates of hell. It's the gates of hell. Have you ever bought fuel for the pastor? No. But, yes. So you need to fight that behavior. Fight it. Fight it. Are you pushing more of relatives' agenda than, 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 than kingdom agenda? Are you pushing more? But the work of God, no. Why? Gates of hell. You have not prayed about that one. You need to fight it. If I say open your bag right now, take the biggest note. What makes you take the dollar? Money twenty dollars. What makes you bring the dollar? Is the gates of hell. It's the gates of hell because they know that the only way out of poverty is funding the gospel. They know it. They know it. They know it. And after you have given, you must still fight the gates of hell because they'll come to fight your harvest. Listen, your harvest is not automatic. You need to be fought for. Have you seen? Sometimes the most zealous people in church are the ones who go through the biggest struggles. The gates of hell will, will sit on that person at Ministry of Finance. And he will sign every other document minus yours. We are going to wage war against this power. We are going to fight this power. I've seen the people who love the work of God the most. are fought the most. And I said, Lord, why? He said, don't lament, fight. <sighs> Lift up your right hand of power. Say, Father. Today, I wage a war against the gates of hell. They are fighting me. They are fighting me. Fighting my business. 
fighting my resources the gates of hell they are fighting me these ember months jehovah i cry out against the gates of hell every business here that is represented every potential business every kingdom giver that is being fought by the enemy by the gates of hell we release fire on the gates of hell.